Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So I'm in my truck right now and I'm at Walmart. Went to uh, do some shopping. Came back out about, spent about 45 minutes in there, came back out and this truck is not doing a single thing. It's not, uh, it's not turning over. It's not cranking. Um, and uh, really wish I didn't have this situation at this point because it's hot out. I mean, the blow motor is blowing, but it's blowing hot air, um, and everything works. Like the, the dash lights work as if you know it's about to turn on, but nothing happens. I don't hear anything, um, and you know the radio, all the electronics work. Everything works, um, and uh, unfortunately, um, you know it's not it's not cracking over. So basically, what I thought was I originally thought it was the battery. I was like. It's probably the battery that's causing it not to start. So I, you know, I went out, turn on the, uh, turn on the headlights. It's kind of hard to make out considering I'm in the sun right now. So, but you know, I was able to see the headlights and they were kind of bright considering, but there's like, it's in the afternoon. So, I mean, I can't really tell it's sunny out. So I'm like, maybe, you know, I should, uh, you know, maybe the battery's weak or whatever. So I asked somebody to jump my car. They did me a favor, jumped it. Uh, had the uh, cables on the uh, battery for a good um, three, four minutes before I cranked it. <clears throat> nothing. Same situation, nothing. You know, I'm kind of, I mean, at that point, I was like, okay, it's not going to be an easy thing to resolve at this point. So it's definitely not an easy battery issue where I could just, you know, go into Walmart, get a battery, pop it in. That's not going to be the case. So I'm like, that, that's not the case. What can it be? Alternator? No, it's not the alternator. I know it's not the alternator because I've had issues with alternators before. And uh, normally they go out on you while the car is running. At least the engine is running. Engine is on, you know, while you're driving or whatever. But the engine has to be on for the alternator to have issues for the most part. So, so I mean, the test for an alternator is if your car is dead because of an alternator issue, normally you're on your road and the car just dies out. Um, if you get a jump, if you get somebody to jump it for you, um, normally the the, the the car should actually crank up and, and run as long as you have the cables on the battery. Once you take the cables off the battery, the car will die out, you know, because the, the alternator is not charging the battery. So that's not the issue. Unfortunately, that's not the problem. Not the problem. So, I mean, I've ruled those two things out. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what else could it be? Um, maybe relay. Or maybe fuse. Still, two easy things that I could resolve if it's a relay or fuse. So let's go with the relay. Now I'm thinking to myself, okay, could it be the relay? Because I'm actually hearing a click, and the click is pretty pronounced. Every time I try to turn it on, it's like click. You know, I, I you know, I'm hearing the click. So I'm, I'm guessing that it's not the relay. Considering um, if it was no click at all, it, it could be the relay. If it's like no click, it could be the relay. Start a relay. Um, but I hear a click and, um, you know, the click is pretty loud. So I'm, you know, I'm guessing that that click is coming from the starter. You know, it has to be coming from the starter because every time I try to start it, it clicks, but the motor won't turn over. So that's the problem right there that, you know, that, that would be a problem if it didn't click. So it's not the relay. I mean, not that I could test it out hundred percent, but at this point, uh, I'm going to rule out the relay. So could it be, what could be, it could be, it could be, you know, either a fuse could it be a fuse? So basically, uh, as far as fuses are concerned, I've had issues with fuses blown out and then my car not starting. But um, the uh, the two situations that I've, you know, you know, the, the two situations where, that I had were with cars where, um, you know, so the fuse blew up and, and blew out in my car. Like, you know, this is like, you know, my, my whole entire experience as far as, you know, um, you know, working cars, working my car is concerned. But the fuse the main fuse blew out. So, it, you know, I was getting nothing from, from, uh, you know, the dash, there was no lights on the dash. Nothing worked as if, you know, the cables were taken off, um, the battery. So it's not, it's not the, uh, it's not, uh, that's not the situation here. You know, if a main fuse blew, then you would get nothing on, on the car. And, you know, I mean, that, that could be one of the reasons, but it's not the reason for this, for this, um, particular problem because, you know, I am getting lights on the dash, Everything works, so it's not cracking over. Other issue with the fuse is, um, if <clears throat> if I, I, you know a fuse for the fuel pump blew, 
I mean, it would crank, but it just won't turn over. <clears throat> now, I had this situation that happened before. I don't know whether it was a fuse for the, for the uh, you know, either the, the, the fuel pump or the ECM or whatever. Either one of those, you'll, it'll crank, but it won't, it won't turn over. Um, it's not the situation here because I'm not cranking at all. I'm not, the, this truck is not turning. It's not turning. It's not turning over. It's not cranking. It's, I hear nothing except for a click. So at this point, I'm going to assume that it's just the battery that's causing this problem. I mean, not the battery, but um, the starter. So uh, I'm waiting for a AAA to come tow my car. And uh, hopefully they'll be here in an hour and I'll keep you guys up. Hey guys, so... Yeah, it turned out it was the starter. That was the problem. I waited an hour for AAA to come and pick me up um, and uh, had uh, another starter put in. And uh, the, the car is turning over without any problems at all. So here's the thing about it. I had that starter put in like about a year ago. And uh, I was like, really disappointed that it, 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 it died out on me so quick. Because I was hoping to get like, you know, uh, you know a lot of mileage out of it before it died out but unfortunately that's what happens with refurbished starters and guess what I had to get another refurbished starter because um, the brand new one is really really expensive and um, you know there's always a chance that, that that could happen with a brand new one also unfortunately less of a chance but um, anyway um, if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please uh, you know you know comment you guys have any comments alright guys